Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. With us today is Scott Hansing from Inspect One Home Inspections. How are you doing, Scott? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. So today we're going to talk about seller inspections and namely the point of sale or truth and sale of housing inspections that some municipalities require sellers to do when they sell their homes. Scott's going to help us navigate that. So Scott, uh, in uh, as succinctly as possible, what is a point of sale inspection? Basically, simply, there's quite a few communities in the Twin Cities that require the homeowner to have an inspection done when they sell the home. Basically, that's it. Okay. And this isn't just single family. In some municipalities, they have different requirements. It could be a duplex. Some municipalities require a condo or a townhouse. Some don't. Correct. Is that true? That's true. So, like, how do you know? How do you, like, is, there a, is there a secret list somewhere? that? Well, first of all, you can call us at Inspect1, 952-707-1111, and we can give you the uh, information for your particular city. A lot of times your real estate professional can help you with that. They typically know which cities require inspections and which don't. Right. Um, and then you can go to your city website also, and uh, they can tell you whether or not you're home. But generally in those areas that, that require, or communities that require inspections, it's single family, duplexes, and a lot of them do condos and townhomes also. Right, right. Yeah, some of the major communities in the Twin Cities market, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Bloomington. Bloomington, correct. St. Louis Park has one. Richfield. Yeah. Hopkins. And they, and they all are very, like, I don't want to use the word very, but they, they all have their own nuances. They correct? do. And, and, and requirements and stuff. What was the point of, do, of, of these from a, the city's perspective? Well, originally, uh, they, they wanted to keep the housing stock in good shape. Uh, in other words, every time a house would turn over, would sell you basically had to do repairs to the house and they thought that that would keep the housing stock up. Now that has, I think you would agree, in areas like St. Louis Park or Richfield, I think that's that's helped. Right. It's kept the housing in good shape. Um, areas like Minneapolis, Bloomington, um, where they require some repairs, it's become more of a health safety uh, program. So they require smoke detectors, CO detectors. Uh, they require repairs to anything where somebody might get an electrical shock that could hurt them. So in those communities, it's become more of a health safety issue. Um, and then some communities don't require any repairs at all. Right, because uh, and some used to have a program and now don't. And uh, I believe uh, Brooklyn uh, Brooklyn Park Park yeah, yeah went, did away with their point of sale inspection. And I don't believe he died. Crystal. Him. Crystal. Yeah. So I mean, so th this is a, it's not static, right? Like there's there's you know these no. things are evolving. And Minneapolis now has a new requirement for uh, energy disclosure. Correct. You know, so you have to like really stay on top of it. Uh, you know, and, and and if you as the home seller, uh, if you're working with a group of trusted professionals, you know they should have this information. You know, they should be able to. Uh, be able to recite pretty quickly what it is that you're required to do in the municipality that you're living in. Yes. Um, I, I feel like in Minneapolis they're still trying to figure out maybe a little bit like with this new energy disclosure requirement what it actually means and in fact I've had people call me you know from different agencies wanting to interview me for my opinions on it. You know it's not a lot different than it used to be. We're still what we're there what they're looking for is uh, the energy efficiency proficiency or performance of the home. And so we're taking more careful measurements of the insulation in the attic. We're trying to describe what type of heating plant you have, how energy efficient that heating plant is. Uh, the only real difference now is that, and this, this shouldn't scare you, but we have to drill a small hole in an outside wall somewhere, usually in a closet in a bedroom somewhere where it's inconspicuous and measure the amount of insulation you have in the exterior walls. And then they take all those different factors and they come up with an energy score. Mm. So they're trying to, they're, they're working towards the green community, you know, concept. Right, right. Okay. Well, so Scott, say someone wants to learn more about this topic, because I know we could probably talk about it all day. 
We could, definitely. <laughs> uh, how do they get in touch with you if they want to learn more? Uh, call us at 952-707-1111, or you can go to uh, inspect1.com. Okay, uh, 952-707-1111? Correct. Or inspect1.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. If you want further information from us, you can reach us at 612-600-8888, call or text, or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been useful. And like always, if you want further information, please let us know. Thank you.